computer. Okay, once again, uh, today we'll continue with the explanation or discussion on the definition uh, and uh, see some other previous questions that we had uh, last week. Uh, in order to understand or to have a good understanding uh, on the subject content. This is the second definition, I think, after the last one last week, definition of tourism. After this class today, this meeting today, next week, we should be starting with presentation of, uh, of groups. I also hope that uh, the captain of your class has already distributed all the students or participants into, into groups of four people each. And then uh, each group to, to take one object of tourism uh, it could be a place of uh, tourism or it could be a, a traditional ceremony which is interesting for tourists to, to watch or to come and visit or whatever which is uh, or which are included in tourism. Okay. So, can we check before we, we continue with the material today? Where is the captain of the class? Uh, Patrice. Yes, sir. Have you uh, divided the whole class into small groups? Of uh, not yet, sir. <clears throat> Maybe after this. Okay, after this, please uh, divide or distribute all the, the students into small groups. I hope we, we don't have... Uh, Group. So many members in the group because when there are so many students or uh, members in a group, uh, it may happen that uh, some only only some students are active, uh, while other students are not active at all. Uh, say maybe the uh, maybe five students each is the biggest one. So make uh, make uh, groups of five people in a group. Okay. Okay, sir. And your uh, the task of each each group is to pick up to pick up one. Let's no, object of, of destination. There are questions. Okay, these questions are for final final assignment semester final semester assign, assignment but uh, for your group presentation you you can uh, pick up one place of destination one of uh, destination uh, to explain to to promote to the class but uh, your presentation should be in uh, powerpoint having your pictures pictures of the members of your group that is why it is recommended that you choose a place which is close enough for you to reach so that you can get to that place and take photos, observe that place, or observe all the facilities that, that the place uh, has got. Uh, and then you, you explain to the class. Okay. Uh, if you take uh, a place which is too far, then it's impossible for you to 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 take original original photo. Instead, you will be only using other other people's photos, okay. and that is not uh, quite good. Uh, do you understand or do you agree with me or any? Any question? Okay. Then let's continue. This was the last, uh, last slide that we had 
uh, that we discussed last week. Then we go out to this one. Definition. In 1976, tourism society of defined it as tourism is the temporary short-term movement of two destination outside the places where they normally live and work and their activities during the stay at each destination. It includes movement for all purposes. So this is the other definition of, of, uh, of tourism, where this Tourism Society of England defined it or emphasizes some words like uh, outside the places where they normally live. Okay, this is, I think, the key, free, key phrase for, for this definition. Uh, before that, there is also the word, sorry. The word temporary. Okay, temporary uh, as the, the opposite of permanent. Oh, yeah, permanently. So we have temporary. Uh, that means for a short time. Movement of people for a short time. Okay. And then outside the places where they normally live, there's also uh, another keyword. Oh, so, sorry, sorry, short time. Okay. Temporary short term, short term movement of people to destination outside the places where they normally live and work and their activities during their stay at each destination. It includes movement for all purposes. Next one. Another definition, in 1981, International Association of Scientific Experts in Tourism defined tourism as uh, in terms of particular activities selected by choice undertaken outside the home environment. Here are some other keywords in this definition. First one, selected by choice what can you or what do you understand about the oh, sorry when it says selected by choice Why is it important to say that it is selected by choice? Yeah, that is what I mean. And undertaken outside the home environment. Yeah, the second one, uh, outside the home environment is already discussed in the previous slide. But what, what do, Oh, yeah, what do these uh, experts on tourism in 1981 mean by saying activities selected by choice? Okay, anyone would like to answer? Also, do, don't forget to fill in the attendance list by writing your name and class or semester in the chat room of this Zoom meeting room. Yes, please. Anyone would like to answer? There is someone speaking, but uh, it's not very clear. Very low voice. Uh, is it someone? Dion, Dionysius, Dion. Yeah. Here means that uh, the place that uh, the place that tourists go is uh, based on what they 
what uh, based on what their uh, own decision. Okay. To go to they are decided to go. Yes. Yeah. You are exactly right to say that I should, the place that is taken that is decided to 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 go should be the one that they select that they choose by themselves. It shouldn't be a place that other people force them to go. Why is it very important to, to say it like that? To, to make sure that the place the tourists would like to go should be the one that they like to go, not the place uh, that other people force them to go, to go to. Why? Because, uh, is there anyone would like to answer? Yeah, because it can, it creates another sense of someone. Yes, uh, you know, uh, tourism activities are activities done uh, for leisure, for happiness. Okay, and then uh, people spend so much money uh, for that purpose, for leisure purpose. Okay, then why should other people force them to go to places that tourists don't like to go while the money spent are uh, owned by those tourists so yeah. the the places that people have to go should be the ones that they like to go that they will feel happy to be there okay so even though we want more people to visit our place uh, like Lasiana or Komodo Island or uh, Three Colors Lake in Ende, Kilimoto. We are just promoting it. We cannot force people. We cannot say, no, you don't go to 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 Bali. You should go to, to Kupang or to, to Flores. No, we cannot say. We, we promote it. Then it's uh, they themselves who have to select. They will find information, they will ask their friends, those who have been to our places, and when they, they feel uh, that they like to go to that place, told by their, their friends, then they will decide to go there. Okay? So it should be selected by choice. Okay. Yeah. Then we go on. Okay. Yes. Next one, general definition. What happens? Yeah, sorry. General definition. This one. It's blur. It's not very clear from in, on my screen. What happens? Can you see the, the slide clearly? Can you read from your screen? It's blur, sir. Yeah, it's clear. No, sir, it's blur. blur. It's blur, sir. Yes. It's blur, sir. Okay, okay, okay. What happens? Maybe a problem with my internet. What happens? Oh, what happens? Yeah. What if I stop sharing and then I open again? Yeah. Now you can see your friends' faces. And you can say hello to them. Again, it's still blur. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What, I have, what if, if I do it like this? Can you see on the left? Is it uh, still readable? What about this one? It's like this. Can you? Okay, it's better, sir. Better? 
So you, you, you yes. do see the play on the right side of the screen, but from the thumbnail, thumbnail. General definition, tourism comprises the activities of persons. Okay. Yeah. Susana, anything you would like to say? So tourism comprises activities of persons traveling to and staying in places outside their usual environment for not more than one consecutive year. One consecutive year itu oh, tanpa putus-putus, setahun tanpa terputus. Itu consecutive. Kalau misalnya begini, uh, one uh, tourist come to uh, Kupang uh, this week and then uh, stays until I mean this month uh, it's now uh, September and then stays stays until uh, October October uh, sorry uh, August or maybe early early September next year 2021 that is what is meant by one consecutive year without going out uh, within the the one year or nearly one year the tourist does not go out at all so only stay staying here in Kupang or maybe entete around entete that is consecutive year but if he goes if he comes here uh, in december uh, in september and october he goes to singapore and then comes back uh, november in entete and then goes back to goes to delhi to timor leste in in january for example and comes again to entete uh, that is not a consecutive year okay the consecutive one is the one that uh, when the tourist comes this month and stays here in Entete and then before one year he goes out from Entete from Indonesia yeah from Indonesia okay and then um, staying in places to uh, traveling to and staying in places outside the usual environment yeah for not more than one consecutive year if it is more than one consecutive year like uh, they come in in September this year, but next year, October or December next year, they return to their country, then it is not called uh, tourism anymore. Can you, can you guess why if a, a tourist stays more than one year, it is not he, or they are not called tourists, or their activities are not uh, included in tourism. If they stay in Entete or in Indonesia more than one year, according to this uh, general definition. Can we discuss it? Anyone would like to, to try? Should I put it in Bahasa Indonesia or is it clear enough already? Susana? S microphone, please. Your microphone is off. You may have been speaking as uh, a lot so far, but uh, we cannot hear. Uh, understand the question? Yeah, yeah. Dion? Sorry, sorry. Uh, I cannot clear. I, I cannot. Uh, I cannot get it clearly. Uh, your, your your voice is not very clear. So I said, would you like to repeat the question? Okay, let me repeat the question. Why 
Okay, according to this definition, uh, activities that are that are included in tourism are the ones uh, done by tourists where the tourists stay in our country or in a country not more than one consecutive consecutive year. If they stay in a country like Indonesia more than one year berturut-turut tanpa putus-putus tanpa keluar terus masuk kembali kalau lebih dari satu tahun it is not called tourism anymore tadi pertanyaannya apa ya 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 if uh, it is more than one year consecutively it, they are not called uh, tourists anymore and their activities are not called uh, tourism or they are not called and uh, are not included in tourism activities anymore so what do we call them if they stay here more than one year if they are not tourists anymore, if their activities are not uh, included in tourism activities. Lalu apa ya mereka kegiatannya? Mister. Yes, John. Uh, I think uh, each country has uh, their own regulations about citizen. So, okay. if a yeah, in particular, the post or program they come to Indonesia, for example, mm -hmm. and they uh, and they live more than one uh, consecutive year. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, they are not called a tourism anymore. Tourist anymore. Okay. But yeah i think they are not they are not called uh, tourists anymore mm. so they have to uh, i mean they must yeah they must be doing something else they must be doing a business a business, a business activity or maybe a political activity okay tourists are those who just move around uh, stay for one or two uh, days or maybe uh, the longest one week maybe in a place but if they stay in a place for more than one year we should be uh, uh, what we call uh, considering them as doing uh, another suspicious we have to suspect them as do as doing suspicious uh, activity like uh, maybe political or maybe spying uh, intelligence activities could be like that kita harus curiga itu orang-orang kalau kok lama sekali ya turis apa ini kok lama sekali di soe sana what are they doing di sabu misalnya what are they doing uh, are they uh, doing educational activities uh, being volunteers but if they are volunteers then the government of indonesia the the central government in jakarta and also local government in bali in sabu or maybe in soe must know their uh, existence in in those places but uh, if they they don't report to the local government for example and uh, especially the police station police offices in the local government then uh, they should be detained they should be suspected di harus dicurigai uh, sedang melakukan kegiatan spying apa itu spying mata-mata bisa jadi oh illegal 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 business yeah okay uh, so yeah the slides are clear again now 
changes. That is general. Now task, uh, as we said, if uh, it's possible, the first one, individual volunteers to promote tourism destination is, is to the class. Presenter scores will be recorded. Yes. Uh, no one was able to, to do it last week or maybe the other class. But I think I also offered to this class, I offered to maybe two or three students to have a try uh, as volunteers. Volunteers, but uh, scores are, uh, are recorded. Your score will be taken and recorded if you do the presentation promoting promoting a place or, or tourism place or object to the class. Uh, as I said, you can, okay, let me omit this. This is a note from last, last year. You can follow this uh, outline if you uh, tr I want to try this time. You mentioned the place. Uh, consider or uh, pretend that uh, you are talking to the tourists that you meet in the street. Uh, tell them the place that you think people will like it. Uh, how to get to that place? Yeah, how? How is talking about uh, transportation or maybe ways of uh, of going or getting to that place? And budget? How much we need? Because people will ask you, okay, uh, you say the place is uh, around Amnuban Selatan. We still, very, we still don't know uh, how far it is and uh, whether the road is good and and cheap enough for for transportation. Then you have to tell them how much. If they know it is not very cheap, uh, not very expensive, then they will decide to go. Or even though it is very expensive, but uh, you your promotion is. Uh, very good, then they will they will uh, decide to, to go to that place. Then what is interesting? Yes, uh, why why you promote it to them? That should be interesting things. And then, is there anything that we can bring back from the place? Yeah, like that. Anyone would like to go uh, to, to try? No one would like to try. Okay. Yeah. Online, online lectures, online classes are always like that. Yes. For your group uh, presentation, <coughs> starting next week. Choose one of the following topics, find references and prepare classroom group presentation of four to five members each. Topics can be like this, or a place of uh, destination or, or tourism object. So, these are actually topics for you to write for your final uh, assignment. These topics, you can choose to, to take them for your presentation, group presentation, or you can just take another one, which is a, a, a place of destination, tourism destination. Okay. Clear enough? Uh, 
Okay. Now, tourists. Who are they? Tourists. Who are they? The world. The World Tourism Organization defines tourists as people who travel and uh, travel to and stay in places outside their usual environment for not more than one consecutive year. Yeah. Okay. For leisure, business and other purposes not related to the other exercise uh, to the exercise of any uh, an activity remunerated or paid from within the place visited. Kalau ada turis yang ada di satu tempat, dia bule, terus dia ada di satu tempat, misalnya di Kupang, di Osao, di Osapa, di Kupang Barat, terus dia bekerja dan dibayar di sana, dia bukan turis. Dia mungkin businessman. Oke, okay. kecuali misalnya pada hari Sabtu setelah dia bekerja, dia ke tempat wisata, ke Flores, ke mana, baru dia disebut turis. Tapi hari-hari kalau dia pergi dari rumah, kontrakan di sini, ke tempat kerja, itu bukan kegiatan turism. Itu kalau sesuai dengan itu tadi, penjelasannya. Oke, kita lihat. Ya, oke, banyak foto yang Anda bisa lihat. Tourism is different from travel. Agar terjadi tourism, in order for tourism to happen, there must be a displacement, perpindahan. Displacement itu, ya kalau orang hanya tinggal di rumah, dia tidak bisa turis. Dia boleh, tapi dia hanya tinggal di, di tempat kontrakan atau di hotel saja. Dia itu oke okay lah, dia bayar sih, bayar itu hotel. Tapi artinya ya karena dia sudah pindah, eh, kan dia datang dari sana, oke. Okay. Saya maksud kalau kita tinggal di Oesapa atau di dekat Pantai Warna, terus hari-hari kita di situ, terus uh, timba air laut di pantai, ya kita bukan turis. Harus ada displacement, ya, perpindahan orang dari satu tempat. An individual has to travel using any type of means of transportation menggunakan salah satu jenis transportasi he might even travel on foot bisa jadi asal dia pergi dari eh, tempat dia berada ya seperti contoh nowadays it is often the case for poorer societies and happens even in more developed ones and concerns big dreams hikers itu mereka berjalan kaki untuk uh, pergi ke tempat wisata But not all, all travels are tourism. Tidak semua perjalanan orang dari satu tempat ke tempat lain itu tourism. Kalau dia pergi urusan untuk masuk minta cewek ke sabu sana, di hengado, apa orang tua punya ini hidung, minta masuk minta, ya itu pasti bukan urusan, bukan turis itu. Bukan turis tapi urusan keluarga. Karena itu malah maka ada kalimat ini uh, but not all travels are tourism. Okay, are included in tourism activities. Why is tourism is important? Ini ada juga pertanyaan di awal-awal. Tourism is vital for many countries due to the income generated by the consumption of goods. Oke, okay. consumption of goods, uh, sorry mana? Karena due to the consumption of uh, generated by the consumption of goods and services by tourists, taxes levied on businesses in the tourism industry and the opportunity for employment in the service industries associated with tourism. Ya, itu mengapa uh, sangat penting pariwisata. These service industries include transportation services such as cruise ships. Ya, itu kapal, itu termasuk kapal penumpang dari Kupang ke Semau, Kupang ke Rote, Kupang ke Sabu, Kupang ke Flores. Itu itu termasuk uh, 
layanan transportasi yang bisa melayani para turis juga, para wisatawan lokal maupun mancanegara. Also, uh, accommodation such as uh, hotels, restaurants, bars, and, and entertainment venues and other hospitality industry, industry services such as spas and resorts. Oke, okay, ini 2014. Let me omit it. Oke. Okay. Uh, yes, that is the explanation why tourism is very important. What is this? Oke, okay. these are only information, uh, common information that you can find uh, countries uh, mostly visited by tourism destinations, uh, as tar targeted as tourism destinations. France, why is France number one? And then Egypt, and then can you see Indonesia in the top one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Bali, Bali is there. Okay, but not Indonesia. Sometimes people think that Indonesia is in Bali or Indonesia is part of Bali. They say, where do you come from? I'm from Bali. Ah, yes, I heard about Bali. Ah, it's good. You are from Bali. So where is Bali? Indonesia. No, Indonesia in Bali? No, no, no. In, Bali is Indonesia. Jadi betapa terkenalnya Bali sehingga sampai-sampai orang berpikir Indonesia itu satu desa di Bali. One village in Bali gitu. Karena mereka kurang begitu dengar ini. Mungkin terlalu ekstrim juga sih mengatakan begitu, tetapi bagi para wisatawan Bali memang mereka kenal. Karena itu eh, maksudnya lebih dari eh, tempat lain. Karena itu ya kita berharap juga NTT eh, Flores, di Timor sini, Sumba, Sabu, Rote, Nembralanya, dan juga Pulau Semau yang baru-baru saja ini dipromosikan dengan gencar oleh Pak Gubernur, sebuah pulau yang eksotis juga yang ada di dekat kota provinsi. Saya pikir kita harus promosikan. Yes, uh, what time is it? Yeah. Habis. Why France is number one? The one uh, number one of the top maybe 15 uh, destinations in the world. Thailand and many many na uh, island nations. Island nations itu negara atau bangsa kepulauan. Misalnya Bahamas, Fiji, Maldives. Maldives itu anak ketik Maldives cari di peta ya kelihatan lah Maladewa, Republik Maladewa. Pulau-pulau kecil dan cantik-cantik orang biasa ke sana. Philippines is also in included as uh, island nations. Negara kepulauan kecil-kecil, negara yang kecil-kecil. Lawannya adalah kontinen, continental uh, countries. Misalnya negara Amerika itu ya kontinen, kontinental, benua. Makanya disebut benua Amerika. Sometimes Indonesia is also called the island nations. But because Bali is already there, then they don't uh, count Indonesia as uh, the name of one uh, uh, famous place. Uh, just Bali. Uh, I think that's all from me. Uh, please make sure that uh, you uh, prepare for your presentation next week. Uh, maybe to make it easy, just uh, follow the alphabetical order of uh, the students' names. Okay. So say for example, those who have uh, first First uh, letter of their names A, B, maybe uh, we'll take the first uh, chance next week to do presentation. 
let's spend around 15 minutes or 20 minutes for your presentation uh, for one group. Maybe, if possible, two groups each meeting. Okay, uh, each meeting don't have to uh, doesn't have to take uh, 90 minutes because having online class like this, I understand very much that uh, it takes a lot of uh, internet quota. Okay, so if you can make it short. If you can make it short, when we uh, agree to have uh, two groups in a meeting, then uh, one 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 group takes fifteen minutes. Then two groups means thirty minutes. When we finish, we stop for each meeting, starting from now. From now, uh, if there is yeah, so. When you do presentation, we'll talk about many things, okay? So there is no more theories. Uh, we'll just enter to the practical ones. Uh, you raise materials and then we have discussions. When we have discussions, you are learning, you are acquiring uh, tourism, tourism vocabulary. That is the point, okay? Any question? Ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Yes. Uh, if there is no question, uh, once again, please uh, remember to write uh, your your name and and class or semester in the chatting room because I'll uh, I'll capture. I'll copy all all the. The messages that you put in the in the chat room, including those who answered questions during the, the discussion today, uh, they, they should write the short answer that they give. They gave so, so that I have data, I have information at the end of uh, the semester. I will record. I will uh, pick up those uh, comments and and names who who, who ask question or. or or answer questions. Okay, thank you, and see you again next week. You can turn on your your videos, uh, your your microphones, and thank you. I stop sharing. Thank you. How many people have uh, filled in the the attendance list? Okay. Not so many. 30, 37 messages. That means only 37 people uh, attending, yeah, but it's okay. I'll. But uh, some others are. Uh, Bro. Just. Let me. Uh, permisi, Pak. Yes. Uh, mohon maaf, Pak, untuk uh, kelompoknya itu, apakah se sesuai yang Bapak bilang tadi ikut abjad begitu? Saya pikir memudahkan uh, ketua kelas saja, tetapi dari segi kenyamanan biasanya saya lepas mahasiswa saya memilih. memilih. Tidak Pak, persoalannya begini, memang bagus juga kalau seandainya uh, menggunakan itu sistem abjad, tetapi takutnya teman-teman yang lain tidak tinggal satu tempat Pak, karena kan kita harus observe dia punya itu yang tempat sama. wisatanya. Itu yang saya maksud tadi. Jadi biasanya saya lepas mahasiswa memilih dia ini bisa nyaman bersama-sama mencari data begitu. Jadi nanti ketua akomodir yang seperti itu asal tidak oh, rombak, baik, Pak. asal tidak mereka rombak terus tiap saat akhirnya merepotkan ketua kelas. Siap Pak, siap. Okay. Terima kasih Pak. Oke, sama-sama. Hmm. Ini tourism. Hmm.
Tersum kelas 5A Today is Tourism 5A 14 2020 yes and, and then I should sorry sorry I mean I should start